All right. In the previous tutorial, we have learned different conditional actions. In this tutorial, we will learn a little bit advanced conditional actions, such as if folder exists, if file exists, and if process. All right. First of all, we'll see the scenario why we required to use if folder exists. I'm just going to give you a small scenario over here. Okay. For an example, you want to generate a report in the particular folder. That folder name is as report. In that case, first of all, you are going to check it out that folder name is exist or not in the particular location. So how can we go ahead and check it out that one by using if folder exists. If you see over here, I'm having if folder exists marks the beginning of the conditional block of actions depending on whether the folder is exist or not. So what it means, it will simply say, you know, the particular folder is existing or not. All right, let me drag and drop this conditional action onto the workspace. Now, if you see, there are the parameters we have. If folder, there are two options that we have. If folder exists, if folder doesn't exist. Now, I will start in the reverse format. If folder doesn't exist, what I have to do, I have to create a new folder. All right, now, let me go to the folder path. On my desktop, I'm having Power Automate desktop. So in that Power Automate desktop, what I'm going to do, I'm going to look for report folder. Okay, let me show you that. Right now I'm in the desktop Power Automate desktop path, but if you see over here, I, I don't have report folder over here. So what it means, it doesn't exist. What I need to do, I need to create a new folder. Okay, all right. Now let me click on save. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a folder. So I'm not talking about this create folder action as of now. I'm just to make you understand, I'm going to add this action over here. Let me drag and drop this create folder onto the workspace in between of the folder exists. So now create a new folder in what is the path over here? On desktop, on Power Automate desktop, I want to create a new folder in the particular folder. What is the folder name? I'm going to give it as reports. And then the reports, whatever the reports you are going to be generating as a folder, it will store in the new folder. All right. Now I'm not going to talk about this enter create folder right now. Let me click on save. Now let me explain you again this. What I'm checking it, if the folder name with the name of reports does not exist, I need to check it out first that the folder exists in or not. If the folder does not exist, that is the main that condition satisfies and then it will create a new folder. All right. Now, if you see over here, I don't have any report folder in the particular path. Now, let me go ahead. Let me run the flow. The flow has been executed successfully. Now, let me go to the path once again. Now, if you see the reports folder has been created successfully by using create folder. But if you observe, it has been checking true or false, the particular folder exists or not, right? Now, in the same way, if you want to check it out, if the folder exists, you can go ahead, what you, whatever the things you want to do, you can go ahead and you can use the actions. All right, now let me click on cancel. Now, I will go in a reverse format, right? I'm going to add else condition over here for this if folder exists, right? Now, let me go to conditional actions. I'm going to use else over here. That is nothing but if the folder exists, okay, then I'm going to check it out if there are any files are there or not. Let's assume right now I'm going to work with if files exist conditional action. What it will say is, it will say is, you know, that the particular file with whatever the name we are going to give it, it will be exist or not. Let me drag and drop this if file exists onto the workspace after else. Now what it will say is, if the files exist, what if you observe over here in the reports, I don't have any file, right? Now what I'm going to do in the same way what we have done in the folder doesn't exist in the same way also if the file doesn't exist. What I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new file over here. How can we go ahead and do that? First of all, it needs to check out the file path. Where is that file path? In the Power Automate desktop, in the reports, I'm going to check out the name as report 
rpareports.xlx. Let me click on OK. If the file doesn't exist in the particular path, then what it will say is whatever the action that you need to do, you can go ahead and do that. Let me click on save. Now, if you see if file doesn't exist, you can see over here, I'm going in the reverse format. If the file doesn't exist, what I need to do, I want to create a new file, right? So how can I go ahead and do that? You can see over here, write text to file. Let me drag and drop this, uh, you know, write text to file action onto the workspace if file doesn't exist. Okay, over here, I'm just going to make you understand what I'm going to do. I'm just going to select the same path which I have given over here. I'm just trying to create the same uh, file over here by using write text to file. I'm going to give you the file path as C, the, that power automate desktop reports, and then that. Whatever the I want to write to text to write, what is the text I need to write? Hello world. Okay, and then if you see if file doesn't exist, if file exists, you want to overwrite or you need to open. If file exists, I'm going to override it over here as of now. I'm not going to be using any kind of you know parameters over here. And let me click on save. Now, what will happen in this case? If you see, already we have created the folder by using if folder exists conditional action, and then so that this condition will fail, and then it will go to else case. Here, if if file exists, that file rpareport.xlx does not exist so that it will create a new file with the name of rpareports.xlsx and it will write hello world in that particular file. Okay, now let me go ahead and let me run the flow. Now let me go to the location. Over here you can see rpareports.xl file has been created. All right, let me go back to flow. Now I'm going to use else condition over here. If the file exists in the same way, what I can do if you see over here, I'm going in the reverse format right now. So if the file exists, then whatever the actions we need to do over here, we can go ahead and do that. All right. Now I hope you understand how to work with if folder exists and if file exists. All right. Now let me delete the entire flow. Now what we are going to do, we are going to work with if process conditional action. What it will say is, whether the process is running or not, we need to check it out. How can we go ahead and check it out? What is the process and where we can find it out? Go to first, go to task manager. And there you will find a lot of processes. These are all the process. You can find it out that the particular process is, is running or not. Now, to know this one, I'm going to use this conditional action that is if process. All right. Now, what I'm going to do over here, I'm having the process Microsoft Edge. Okay, let me go to the properties. I'm going to copy this name over here, this uh, you know process name over here. Now, what I'm going to do, I need to check out that the particular process is running or not. Okay, over here, I'm going to work with if process. Let me drag and drop this if process conditional action onto the workspace. And now over here, is process is running or not? If process is running, which, what is the process name? I have just copied Microsoft Edge, right? Now, to know that process is running, if the process is running, then it will give it as true. That is Boolean true or false. Based on that, I'm going to, I'm going to work some more actions in that. All right, let me go ahead, let me click on save. Now, if the Microsoft Edge process is running, I'll simply display a message over here as, process the title is process and then the display is process running and then let me click on save i'm not going to use any kind of else over here let's go ahead and let's run the flow and you can see over here the process is in running state so that you know whatever the microsoft edge we have given that is in running state that's why you can get it as display message as process running now let me go ahead let me click on okay now actually where we are going to use it now let us assume i want to terminate the process in that case we are going to use terminate process will be there okay so that by using this terminate process we can go ahead and we can terminate the process you can see over here specify the process by process name 
and you can drop down over here you are having process id also which i have shown you over here you can see in the details you are having pid this pid based on pid you can go ahead and you can uh, you know terminate the process right now i'm just going to give the name over here process name is microsoft edge and then i'm going to click on save now let me go back over here you can see over here microsoft edge.exe is running so that whenever i will run this flow what will happen it terminate the process let's run the flow click on ok now you can see over here what will happen microsoft edge.exe has been terminated i hope you understand how to work with if folder exists if file exists if process conditional actions as part of this tutorial thank you for watching power automate desktop tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a wonderful day